Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about the isosceles trapezoid. Our focus today is to solve this kind of problem wherein geometry involves algebra. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Basically, we can define an isosceles trapezoid as a trapezoid with one pair of opposite congruent sides. By the way, the opposite congruent sides are the legs. These are the legs of this trapezoid. We have leg LM and leg KJ. This one is your upper base and this, are the this is the lower base. And basically, the upper base and the lower base are the parallel sides. So the question here, find the measurement of angle M and angle L. How are we going to measure to find the measurement of these angles? And these angles are the leg angles of this trapezoid. So we have a property that talks about leg angles of isosceles trapezoids are supplementary. Since they are supplementary, we can add them up and that is equal to 180 degrees. So let's create an equation. We have the measurement of angle L plus the measurement of angle M is equal to 180 degrees. From this equation, we can replace this directly by this. We have 47 x plus 6. Your angle M can be replaced by plus 41x minus 2 is equal to 180. Combine like terms. This and this is equal to 88x. This and this is plus 4. is equal to 180. To solve this equation, let us transpose this one to become 88x is equal to 180 minus 4. Simplify, this is 88x is equal to 176. So right now, to solve for x, we can divide both sides by 88. 88, cancel, cancel. Your x is equal to 2. Now, the reason why we need to solve for x is for us to find the measurement of these angles. So for angle L, That is 47x plus 6 degrees. Replace x by 2. That is 47 times 2 plus 6 degrees. What is 47 times 2? That is 94 plus 6 degrees. So as you can see, adding up 94 and 6, your angle L simply measures 100 degrees. So this is now equal to 100 degrees. Now the question here, do we need to use this pa and replace x to find m? Pwede pa naman. But, pinakabilis is that you need to know or you need to remember that these two angles are supplementary. Meaning, the sum of these two angles is equal to 180. If this is 100, meaning this one is equal to 80 degrees because they are base, uh, like angles of an isosceles trapezoid. Okay? So, let's continue. Oh, but uh, no, if you want, I'm going to show you the process or solution. Angle M is equal to 41x minus 2 degrees. Your x is 2, so this is 41 times 2 minus 2 degrees. This is equal to 82 minus 2 degrees. So basically, your angle M is equal to 82 minus 2, which is 80 degrees. And that's it, guys, for this kind of problem. Now let's continue for another problem. Our next problem, it's more on angles pa rin. 
So let's see the relationship. Find the measurement of angle A and angle B. So angle A and angle B are basically base angles of the upper base. So ano ba sabi doon? It's a property. It says there that the base angles are congruent. Meaning, the measurement of angle A is congruent to the measurement of angle B. In this case, we could say that angle A is equal to angle B because they are base angles. Now, to solve this problem, replace this by A. So that is 5 plus 9x is equal to 12x minus 28. We will transpose 9x to the other side. It will become 12x minus 9x. This one, transpose negative 28 on the other side. It will become 28 plus 5. Add them. This is 33. And this is 3x. To solve for x, divide by 3. Divided by 3. Cancel, cancel. You have your x is equal to 11. This is now the value of x. Ngayon, let us solve for the value of angle A. Dito natin gawin. Your angle A is 5 plus 9x degrees. Replace x by 11. So this is 5 plus 9 times 11 degrees. Now simplify. This is 5 plus 9 times 11 is 99 degrees. So definitely, your angle A measures 5 plus 99, which is 104 degrees. Now, kanina, we have constructed this equation. We said that, uh, we told, uh, we told, uh, I, I told you that angle A and angle B are congruent and equal because they are base angles. If angle A is 104 degrees, definitely your angle B is equal to 104 degrees as well. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video on how to solve problems involving isosceles trapezoid. Guys, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!